Hey everybody, how are you doing? Listen, today is my sister-in-law's birthday and I'm not going to say how old she is. So, um, she is the matriarch of, our, of the Brown family and we love her dearly. So, I reached out and found out that her favorite, um, one of her favorite cakes was, uh, it's very similar to a Mississippi mud cake. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to make her. I had got one cup of butter, that's two sticks, that I had melted in the microwave. This is almost like a dump cake, okay? That I had melted. And uh, putting that in my mixer. And then I have two cups of sugar that I have already pre-measured out. And I'm just gonna put that in as well. Give that a stir. I have got one and a half cups of um, all-purpose flour that I'm just going to throw in here as well. And I'm going to be kind of more cautious about this since it is a dump cake and not spew it everywhere, maybe. Of course, you know, I'm not done yet, so that could still happen. Little known fact, today would have also been my mom and dad's, let's see, 61st anniversary? No. Oh, wow. It would have been their 71st anniversary. I knew 60 wasn't right, wow. But sadly, neither one of them is still here with us. Okay, I have got a half cup half cup of cocoa that I'm putting in. And today happens to be Abby's birthday. You know, the one that circles around my feet and causes a mess when I uh, touch anything that she doesn't think is pre-approved. <laughs> okay, I have got four eggs that I have beaten. And I'm going to put that in as well. Now this cake is not gonna rise a whole lot. Cause you notice I did not put in any baking powder, no um, uh, baking soda, salt, none of that stuff, okay? It does call for a dash of salt. So, but a dash of salt alone is not going to uh, take care of itself. Throw in a dash of salt, okay? Now we are going to put in one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just gonna eyeball it because I didn't put my measure out. But here's a quick tip. If um, you don't have your measuring spoon, one cap is equal to, uh, is almost always equal to one teaspoon of vanilla, just so you know. Okay? So we put that in as well. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm kind of dribble powder in my not powder, but um, flour in my mix. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn this off and I'm actually going to spray my nine by 13 pan. Now you can do this in a jelly roll pan, um, but I really don't, I'm not a fan of jelly roll pans. And I don't know why, I'm just not. So I have sprayed that real good. I've got my temp to 350. And this is just all mixed up, as you can see. Okay, scrape off my batter. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in about a cup and a half of nuts that I've already uh, chopped up. And these are pecans. You can use whatever nuts you have. If you don't like nuts, don't use nuts. But yeah, this is perfect. So I'm just gonna fold these in to the batter. See, folding that in. 
Now this is going to bake, if you do it in a jelly roll pan, uh, pan about 20, 25 minutes, but since I'm doing it um, in a nine by 13, um, then you're looking at probably about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so let's pour this out. Now this is a cake that you um, just, you know, you finish up while it's hot, so it won't take long. My goodness. I like fast recipes sometimes. All right, I'm just going to smooth this out. You still, yeah, I want to make sure you can still see that. I'm going to smooth that out in the pan. And again, this is not going to rise much. And then when it comes out, we are going to um, put the marshmallows on, mini marshmallows on top, and then we're also going to um, put the icing on. So I should have had something to scrape that with, but I know Dixie won't mind. Mm, good batter. Mm, I know you're not supposed to do that. I just like the raw eggs in it, but you know what? If it was going to hurt me, it would have hurt me because I've done that the entire 69 years of my life. So, there we go. So, let's stick this in the oven now. And I will return. We're in the last three minutes of the cake baking. So, let's go ahead and get our... Uh, frosting done because you know um, you got to work quick because you want this to all be on the cake when it's hot. So there we go. So I have got a fourth cup or half a, a um, stick of butter that I'm putting in my mixer. I'm going to start mixing that up a little bit. And I tried to soften it because softening it does make it easier and better to work with. Um, but I don't think I got it as soft as I needed to. I didn't, wasn't thinking ahead today. So now with that, we're going to use about a pound of confectioner sugar. And this is a um, two pound bag. So I'm just going to use about half of this bag. I'll go ahead and measure it out. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. See if we can do that without, yeah. 32 ounces. So I got it to about 16, so that's good. Okay. So, yeah, see my butter's a little clumpy right there, but that's okay. We're going to fix it. I'm just going to slowly incorporate this powdered sugar. And I've got one cup of milk, so I think I'll alternate a little bit of a time. And a third of a cup of cocoa powder. Because like I said, this is decadent. This is your decadent chocolate cake. Chocolate everywhere. And who doesn't love chocolate? Oddly enough, I do have a daughter-in-law that does not like chocolate. I don't know how that happened. No, I dearly love her. Um, I definitely overlooked the fact she doesn't like chocolate. That's okay with me. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I got all of my um, Put in. I'm measuring thing. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. Now I can eyeball this, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm looking at here. Um, Looks good, y'all. Her 
perfect. Ah, uh, do the toothpick test. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's put our marshmallows on top. And, oh, why not? It's a birthday that comes only once, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's put this back in the oven for a couple of minutes, okay? Still at 350 degrees. Okay, so because my butter did not um, fully melt and get soft, it's staying in a clump and it's causing my icing to be very thin. So you know what you do at that time? You compromise. That's what you do. You say, work with me, please. And with that being said, I'll put a little bit more confectioner sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want it runny, but you don't want it so thick, you know? But yeah, so let's give this a good. That's, it's looking more like it now. I only use about half a cup of this milk. Okay. Clean off my paddles. Give it another quick stir. And it's still a little bit runny, so. But the consistency is almost there. It's just too runny for my liking. So again, we're gonna put in more confectioner sugar. All right, you little sucker. But see there, I have sales too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't think you're the only one. Oh, this is perfect now. Okay. Marshmallows, again, they're not as uh, soft as I want them to be, as I make a mess. So I'm gonna put them back in for a few more minutes. I want them to, for you know, about 30 more seconds or so, I want them to uh, start to melt is what I want. And now I have what I was looking for. Look at that. Ta-da! Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, now you can just put the um, marshmallows and the icing on it and call it a day. But you know me, I gotta garnish it up. I love to garnish things. Totally love to garnish things. So, okay. There we go. Now you could move this underneath the broiler if you would like or you could just kind of let it, let it be. Okay. So, let's just pour this on there. There's your icing, see? Should have used my offset. I don't know what I was thinking grabbing this. Again, more of my goofiness. But that's okay. This is how you learn, right? This is how you learn.
before I forget. And then I'm coming in here and it's like, why is my oven still on? I going to do that once or twice. All right, let me get my offset. I actually thought I had everything out that I needed, but that's my plans. All right, so get that out of the way so you can see. So now, as I make a mess on my stove, basically we're going to incorporate this icing and all of these marshmallows together, give it a good swirl. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just, you know, make a mess. It's not called mud for nothing, right? Mm. Actually, I don't know how they came up with the terminology mud cake. I'll have to ask my sister who lives in Mississippi or I can just look it up on the internet. Okay, so yeah, so now I'm just incorporating all of this together. Mmm, look at that y'all. Doesn't that look delish? Oh, I hope you like this Dixie. Mm. So there we go. Now it's all mixed up. And if that's not enough, I have some more pecans that I'm just going to sprinkle on top. Mm. But again, I like to garnish. How about that? Mm. Just adds an extra taste. Now, if you really want to add an extra taste, use some flake salt, salt and just sprinkle that, crunch it and sprinkle that up on top. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. Happy birthday, Dixie. This cake is moist, it's chocolatey, it has nuts in it, which I'm not supposed to be eating right now because of this dental work, but it's really tasty. And uh, happy birthday, Dixie, and remember, <laughs>